A thriving underground club scene emerged from the ashes of the recession in Ireland. This film captures a moment in time in Dublin. Venues like Mabus have provided an unconventional space for electronic music, dancing and creativity to flourish. I think, in the, especially in the last five years, there's been a great scene. Like Body Tonic have a lot to do with that, you know, and they, um, those guys are they're prolific, they're always doing crazy stuff. And I think they really helped the scene in Dublin an awful lot. I think they're really the kind of pioneers of the new energy that's come into clubbing at the moment. Because it's not just about music now, it's about community, it's about keeping, getting people involved in different ways. So I've seen that kind of creative, I don't know, um, energy just kind of like bloom over the last five years. It's been really good. Catherine McGoy like says God loose up the shoes. Um or Kiana Wan no like the eating to a tour shoe got shocked and it's not only the costume like on Twist of Pepper and you um Kayla on Button Factory um I guess on the Marshin. Um I guess you know Brian Shield air on says Kaidon like DJs like got shocked and like um oh either not shoes and new to like uh in our team plucked. Um, I guess on God Glushuk the um, Mohoram Jogger's Horror Show, not on, on Glushuk the Sites, Fween Talav, um, Kusula, Hunt and Gather, I guess like Imakdi, just Oam Gaham, I thought like, you know, Sna Warehouses, New Sun, like Sna Gallery, I guess, you know, I guess on a Di Marshin, I thought like Nav Gana, um, New Asim Gana. Other places like Mabos, I would say no. There are a number of kind of gallery style places. Mabos, to my mind, it's particularly good. It's particularly big. It's particularly good space. It's particularly independent. So it's a breath of fresh air and long may they last. You know, while big money and big business had gone elsewhere looking for profit, you know, we were busy here having the opportunities to put things together and do things and make things happen. Because things like, you know, rent prices dropped and it gave a whole generation of people who had been priced out previously. Um, the chance to actually get involved in stuff on a serious level. People kind of have to do things for themselves a little bit. It's something I think you see a lot in, um, you know, in a recession hit economy, that people just, you know, they, they kind of have to do these things for themselves. They've got to go and strike out. There's not casual money flying about the place, so they've got to do something for themselves. I suppose this really comes from really, really loving music and feeling that if and wanting to share it, I suppose, and that's a really cheesy answer, but I suppose it's, it's the truth. Um, and I think if you play with your heart, and, uh, and really play with your heart, and really put emotion into what you're doing, it's so rewarding when people buy into that. Like that's, and that's not an ego thing, I think it's more of a communal experience. And that's for me, is the real difference between like dance music and guitar music. If you think of it in the most obvious way, like there's no lyrics for the most part. Um, so the, the context isn't set, like it's, it's a much more emotional experience. No one is telling you to be sad because they've broken up with their girlfriend. It's just, the music is just the music and you're buying into the music um, and I think that's a really powerful thing. Um, it's definitely a love thing for me because music is total escapism. You know what I mean? It's totally like, um, it's totally just like losing yourself. That's the best thing about music. I mean, like if you don't get into it, if you don't forget about everything else, then what's the point in being there? You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not there as a train spotter. I'm there to, I'm there to lose myself, and God, that's what goes for DJing. Is I'm there to lose myself, and if you're coming with me, great. You know, I used to describe it to certain people. It's like a cross between playing a video game, meditating, and playing an instrument. The actual experience of mixing, because you're kind of hearing what you're going to present to people before they hear it, while hearing what they're listening to. You're kind of synthesizing that in your brain, and. Um, presenting it, then presenting that to them. And the kind of process, kind of the cognitive process of actually doing that is intensely engaging. So as well as the kind of ego thrill, there's this very um, engaging kind of experience that you're, you're personally feeling. Gone doubt like on size Asholis on Slua, I guess on on ton of like a went on Slua us. You know, in the manga Erdini on on size on atmosphere, on Fwinov. I guess like Gahara, you know, Dini egg bugger, I guess egg dosa. It's not as drug focused a, a scene anymore, as far as I can see anyway. There's still a, there's still a, a it's still drugs there. There's drugs everywhere in society. It's not as, uh, as drugs focused, I think, as it has been. You go down the Twisted Pepper, 
it's house and techno all the time. It's not this thing of people who are really, really off their heads and all they want to hear is a beat. I think people are a little bit more considered. People, with the internet and everything, people know that this is like a, you know, a long-standing culture as opposed to just some fad as well. And um, this sums it up quite well. The, on the end of my set, one of the nights, the place started screaming and cheering and go, oh, all this kind of stuff. And I was young enough and shy enough that I turned around and literally was going, where's the fire? I literally kind of went, what's, what's going on? And then I went, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, there's an ego thing, and there's a love thing, it's multifaceted. But I mean, you're talking about, like, I mean, you're on the dance floor when you, you play the right record at the right time and everyone screams and they're all going like that. And then you're all, you're all as one and that's, that's what it's supposed to be really. It's a, it's a community thing more than anything, I think. We have to be really careful and really stick to our guns and, and not allow things like big business just steamroll over all the good stuff that's happened. And then we go back to big bars, crap music, you know, everyone just out without thinking about putting any thought into evenings and, and that's for, especially for a DJ, that's, that's the death of the scene pretty much, that's where it stops.